Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how you can burn info into your video, such as a watermark logo, a clip title, or the time code for your video timeline. So in order to access the window where you do this, you go up to Workspace, and then towards the middle is a option called Data Burn-In, right below Background Activity and above Gallery. So if we click on Data Burn-In, there are two tabs here, one for Project and one for Clip. So you would use the project tab when you want to either burn in data across the entire video from start to finish, though it doesn't necessarily have to be, or when you want to burn in data that is referencing the entire project as a whole. So for instance, if I choose record time code here, you'll see the time code show up in black by default at the bottom of the screen. And the time code is going to be referring to the time code for the entire project, not the clip that you're on. So if I go over here, to about 16 seconds. Even though the clip changed, it's still showing the time code for the entire project. So also, if I wanted to say have a watermark across the entire video, I would choose logo one or logo two, logo three, honestly. And you can click import file to choose a file from your computer. So selecting a PNG will work nicely. And then you can use position to decide where it's going to go. Now, by default, anything you burn into project is going to just show across the entire video. But you have the option of having them start at the beginning of your video and only last for a certain number of frames or have it at the end of your video for a certain number of frames. And you can do that by checking display during first and or last. So if we have it 30 frames for the first part of the video and we go back to the start of the timeline, we'll see the logo appears there. But then after 30 frames, it fades out. And if we go to the end of the video and hit play, you'll see the logo and the time code fades back in. Now, you may notice a limitation that when you burn it in for the project, whatever you check for display during is going to apply to all of the things you check here. So if we have record time code checked for display during the first 30 frames, or we uncheck that for the first 30 frames, that's also going to apply over here for logo one. So whatever is on the project tab, everything is going to share those timing settings. Okay, so let's switch over to the clip tab now. So one other text item we can add in for data burn-in would be the source clip name. This would be the name of the file which you are showing on screen at this point in time. So let's go ahead and adjust the position here so it shows a little bit above that bottom of the screen. Similarly, if you wanted to show the entire file path, you could check source file name over here, which you can see shows the full path on your computer. But the main difference of having it in clip mode is that it's only going to apply to the clip that we're currently selecting. So if I go over here and I left click on this other clip, you'll see that the source clip name check disappeared for this clip. So it's only actually showing on the sole clip right here. So that's going to be really handy when you want to have different setups for different clips in your video. Now, if you customize your data burn in settings a lot, and you want to save that for later, you can do so by going to the top right hand corner, click on the three dots, and then choose save as new preset. So you could give it a preset name of something like video defaults, hit OK. And then now anytime you want to use update or delete your preset, it's going to show in this drop down menu. So I could change all of these things, check a bunch of other options and then decide, hey, that looks terrible. That's not what I wanted. And then go click on the default and then load the presets. So in a nutshell, that is how you can use DaVinci Resolve in order to burn info such as a watermark, a clip title or time codes into your videos. So I've been Chris. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my future video content.